morning guys, Kurt from Time Machine Transport over here in uh, Laramie, Wyoming at, I call it the Al-Qaeda truck stop. What's up guys? Um, I stopped here for cheap fuel. It's on mile marker 290 on I-80 if anybody ever comes across this way. It's the cheapest, <coughs> it's the cheapest fuel on I-80. You know, diesel's getting so damn expensive now. But anyways, that's not what the video's about. Hauling some trailers. Just so you guys know, it's the same. It's the same Freightliner, 2001. I told you guys I drive, so you know I'm not bullshitting. Anyways, I wanted to do a follow-up video on um, the uh, the water pump install. Everything, no leaks. Um, anyways, I, I was. Uh, I was really surprised how well it went in. This is the third part of the final video. I always do a final video um, after it's all installed and it's running. So I got, I mean, no leaks. This morning when I came out, I saw all that, all that fluid down there. I was like, oh my God, I got a leak. But it was from the truck idling all night. It's cold here in Wyoming. Um, anyways, it was, it melted the ice from the truck idling all night. Anyways, but no uh, no leaks, man. Like I said, it was three bolts, a bunch of hoses. Um, I mean, you got to take this off to get to it, but I this was off anyways when I did the turbo. And I'm going to do a final video on the turbo as well. Um, but uh, fan is staying off on that ECM, which is fantastic. But I, I'm going to do another video um, on the turbo because I... I want to I want to point something out um, if you guys are interested. But anyways, just want to do a final video on the on the water pump. Everything is uh, perfect, man. Um, I would definitely encourage anybody to do this on their own. Um, it, it's it's not as hard as it seems, to be honest. So I uh, hope you guys. Well, I mean, if you guys watch this video, you guys have probably already watched the one and the two. So I hope this video finds you guys well. God bless. Ciao.